Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith, a nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is but better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my savior. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been sol set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Church remembers today, December 3rd, St. Francis Xavier was born in what is now northern Spain in then the Kingdom of Navarre, 1506. And he, as a young man, went to study liberal arts at the University of Paris. And that was very providential because there he met St. Ignatius of Loyola, who was some years his senior. And St. Ignatius tried to, of course this was following St. Ignatius' own conversion, he strove to impress upon uh, the young 24-year-old the importance of following Christ, of giving his life totally to Christ and working for the salvation of souls. St. Francis was recalcitrant. He was not initially interested in the words. Ignatius spoke to him, but eventually the power of the word of God changed his heart because St. Ignatius would often repeat to him, to what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his own soul? And eventually he did decide to follow Ignatius and there were five others and they took vows and uh, this was the nucleus or the beginning of the Society of Jesus. St. Francis was ordained a priest and uh, the Pope at the time was Paul III called for missionaries to the East and St. Francis took up the task and he went to India and labored for some 10 or so years and he was instrumental in bringing uh, Christianity there, uh, preaching, teaching, uh, catechizing, baptizing. He baptized literally tens of thousands of people there. And uh, those same areas where he evangelized are still Catholic today. He went on from there to Japan and had uh, less success. Uh, many of the people were uh, not willing to give up their Buddhist and Shinto beliefs. He even sought to go on to China, but he died at the age of 46 before reaching there. He was declared a uh, patron of the missions. And so here's an example of one who really labored for Christ. Um, and uh, he often decried those who, for instance, back in Europe's universities, such as where he studied, uh, those who pursued intellectual uh, endeavors where so many others, he said, how many others are being lost because of people like you? How will you uh, make an account in your balance for all the learning that you have received and so many others are not coming into the church. There's only one reason, he said, that they were not 
being made Christians, and that was because nobody was there to make them so. Most of us are not called to follow in distant lands to preach the word, but rather uh, right in our own families, to our children, to our grandchildren, maybe to those we work with or live with. And uh, it is something that we should set about earnestly to do. There are those who make a shipwreck of their faith. And the Lord very plainly tells them, it's not those who cry out to him, Lord, Lord, in the end who will be saved, but the ones who do uh, the will of the Father in heaven. So let us strive to be Christians, not just in name only, but also in deed and in fact, and also be concerned about others' salvation. To pray for them, well, St. Therese of Lisieux is also a co-patron of missions without leaving her convent walls. So we can certainly pray and then take the opportunity to make known Christ, his love, and his promise of eternal life for those who believe in him. Today's Holy Mass is being offered for Charlotte Hill. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfill the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. God in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created, rightly gives you praise for, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis Xavier, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that 
by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. who cannot receive Jesus in the sacrament of the most holy Eucharist at this time, we offer you this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, and grace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly in you. Never permit me
Let us pray. May your mysteries of God kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that, walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promised to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you, Saint Michael. Thank you.